Hi, welcome to this session on CAT 2020 LRDI solutions. This is a calculation based set from CAT 2020 slot 2. It had four questions in it. You have to fill in the missing values with a lot of information which is given to you. A decent amount of calculation uh, is required over here. I would suggest pause this video. Try this entire set on your own. The questions and the answer key are available in the description of this video. Once you have tried this, then proceed with the rest of this session. Before I start, in case you have not done it already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do uh, hit the like button in case you like this particular video. Please do comment and let us know how you liked these solutions and the ones which follow. Also, share this with your friends who are preparing for CAT and other MBA entrance examinations. You can also follow us on various other social media channels like LinkedIn, Telegram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. All the relevant links are available in the description of these videos. In case you are preparing for the CAT 2021 examination, do have a look at our Ultimate LRDI course. This is the most comprehensive course for CAT LRDI available in the market. We have more than 500 LRDI sets with detailed and well explained video solutions. We also provide you with one on one mentoring. You get a chance to review your CAT preparation throughout your CAT journey. And in case you get stuck, you get a chance to speak with me individually and get your doubts resolved. We have prompt, prompt doubt clearing, discussion forums, WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Everything is available all in one roof. Do have a look at that course. The link is available in the description of this video. Let's get started. This it says a chain of department store has outlets in Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore and Kolkata. The sales are categorized by its three departments, apparel, electronics and home decor. So three departments, four cities. An accountant has been asked to prepare a summary of 2018 and 2019 sales amount for an internal report. He collated partial information and prepared the following table. Okay, so we have a lot of values this is 4 into 3 into 2 so uh, 24 data points right out of which only roughly about half is present the other half is missing and you have information which is given to try to fill up these values and if you look at the questions it says in home decor right which is this one there is some information. What is the increase in sales amount in the apparel department, which is to fill up this value. Electronics is fully given. And then the remaining two ask you what is the greatest across all the values. Right. So we will try to slowly fill this up one by one. Right. Uh, not nothing much to do except for filling up the information. So what I've done is I have uh, highlighted the home decor one because that has lesser missing information compared to the apparels. We'll first fill up the home decor one, solve the first question and then go on, fill up the apparel values and solve the rest of the questions. So the good part about this is that partial information is given for apparels individually and the home decor ones are given separately so I've separated out the home decor ones right so we'll fill up these values first and then we'll go to the apparel one as discussed okay so the third statement says the sale amount in home decor departments were the same for mumbai and kolkata in 2018 mumbai and kolkata these two values are same these two values are same okay the total sale amount of the four home decor departments increased by 70 crores from 2018 to 2019. So the total value in 2019 is 70 crores more than 2018 value. Now the 2019 values are fully known. So we can add this up 180 plus 124. So that should be uh, 100, uh, 126 180 plus 126 that's 306 is for 2019 right so 2018 will be 306 minus 70 which will be 230 
six. Okay. The sale amount of in the home decor departments of Delhi and Bengaluru each increased by twenty crores from eighteen to nineteen. So from eighteen to nineteen, this increased by twenty, and this also increased by twenty. So this value will be sixty. This value will be eighty. Right. So these two add up to one forty. So the balance ninety six is split evenly as per the third statement. This is split evenly. So forty eight and forty eight. Right. So I can actually answer the first question now. In home decor departments of which cities were the sales amount the highest in two thousand eighteen and nineteen respectively? So eighteen highest and nineteen highest is what I need to find. Okay, eighteen highest Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. Okay, Delhi is the highest in two thousand eighteen. Can we eliminate any of the options? Right, option four will be a correct choice. Right, eighteen is the first one, nineteen is the second one. So in both the cases, it will be Delhi. You can verify it. Hundred is the highest in two thousand nineteen. Okay, so that one is done. Let's try to fit in the. remaining data which is on apparel okay the sale amount in apparel department were the same for delhi and kolkata in 2018 delhi and kolkata in 2018 were the same so if this is x this will also be equal to x first in taken care of second one says the sale amount of the apparel departments were the same for mumbai and bangalore in 2018 So this is why this will also be why, right? This sale amount matched the sale amount of the apparel department of Delhi in 2019. So Delhi 2019 is same as Mumbai and Bangalore in 2018. So this value will also be equal to why? Okay. The sum of the sales amount of the four electronic departments increased by the same amount as the sum of the sale amount of the four apparel departments in 2018 to 19 so whatever is the increase in apparels over from 18 to 19 is the same as the increase in electronics from 18 to 19 okay so let's see how much is the increase this is 20 this is 20 so 40 40 this is a drop of 20 so 20 again plus 20 more so this is a value of 40 net increase is 40 right this is pretty easy to calculate plus 20 plus 20 minus 20 plus 20 so plus 40 right so the, this value will also be equal to plus 40 okay this is done we'll calculate those when we come up okay seventh one says the sale amounts in apparel departments of delhi and bengaluru Each increased by the same amount in 2019 from 2018. So Delhi and Bengaluru increased by the same amount from 18 to 19. Okay, what is the increase in Delhi? Y minus x increase in Delhi is y minus x. So Bengaluru's increase will also be y minus x. So 2019 value for Bangalore will be y plus the increased amount. That will be two y minus x. Okay, this is nice. Okay, and the second part says the sale amount in apparel departments of Mumbai and Kolkata also increased by the same amount from nineteen to eighteen. Mumbai and Kolkata also increased by the same amount. How much is the increase in Kolkata? Nineteen minus eighteen will be fifty four minus x. So Mumbai in two thousand nineteen will be y plus fifty four minus x. Right, so it will be fifty-four plus y minus x. Okay, so this part is taken care of. Now we can use the previous data. Increase in from eighteen to nineteen is same for electronics and apparels. So eighteen, the total is x, y, y, x. So two x plus two y is the value for two thousand eighteen. Increase it by forty. That will be the value for two thousand nineteen. The value for two thousand nineteen will be y plus fifty four plus y minus x. Okay, so let's add the y's first. Then we'll add the x's later. Okay, y will be y 
plus y 2y 2y plus 2y will be 4y how much is x this is minus x minus x so minus 2x and any constants yeah 54 plus 54 that's 108 right so these two values are equal and the last statement says the sale amounts in the apparel departments of Delhi, Kolkata and Bengaluru in 2019 follow an arithmetic progression. So Delhi, Kolkata, Bengaluru will be an arithmetic progression. What is the property of an arithmetic progression? Some of the two extreme terms will be twice the middle term. Right. Some of the two extreme terms will be y plus 2y minus x. So that will be 3y minus x will be twice of 54. Right. So I have written this down. Right. These two values are also equal. Right. So we can find the value of x and y from this. We can find the value of x and y from this. This is one equation between x and y. This will be the second equation between x and y. Let's calculate this. So if you rewrite this, you'll get 4x should be equal to Two y plus sixty-eight. If you rewrite this, you'll get y equals two x minus two x minus thirty-four. Right? If you plug this here, so three into two x minus thirty-four minus x equals hundred and eight. If you rewrite this, you'll get 3 into 2 is 6, 6 minus 1. So 5x should be equal to 34 into 3 is 102. That gets added here. 108 plus 102 is 210. So x should be equal to 42. Plug this back here. You'll get the value of y. 2 into 42 is 84. 84 minus 30 equals 50. So I know the value of x. I know the value of y. I can put all the values here. So this is 42. This is 50, 50, 54 plus 50 is 104 minus 104 minus 42 will be 62. This is 50, 100 minus 42 is 58. This is 42. Right, so I have found all the values. I have added this up also. Right. So I can now solve all the questions one by one. Question one I had already solved. It was option four. Let's solve the remaining ones. Okay. Question number two. What was the increase in sales amount in crore rupees in the apparel department in, of Mumbai from 2018 to 19? Mumbai 2018 to 19. What is the increase in apparel? That's from 50 to 62. That's 12. Option one. Question number three, among the 12 departments, that is the three departments in each of the four cities, what was the maximum percentage increase in sale amount from 2018 to 2019? So where is the greatest percentage increase? Okay, so here it's eight out of 42, right? Eight out of 42 is roughly about 20%. This is 12 out of 50, that's 24%. Right. This is 8 out of 50 lesser. This is 12 out of 42. So 12 out of 42 will be, if you divide by 3, that will be 4 by 14, which is 2 by 7. That's 28%. So the highest in apparel is 28%. Let's see if something can beat it here. This is 20 on 78. Right. That will be lesser than... 2 by 7 so this is out this is 20 on 82 still lesser this is a drop this is a 20 on 80 that's only 85 percent so nothing in electronics beats apparels let's try home decor this is 20 on 80 which is 25 percent still lesser this is 24 on 48 there's an increase of 24 right on 48 that's a 50 percent rise that's still that beats this okay Let's see if anything can beat 50%. This is 
20 on 60 that's only 33.33 percent this is uh this is six on 48 that's one in eight only 12 and a half percent so the maximum is 50 percent option four not too difficult okay and the last one what was the total sales amount in crore rupees in 2019 for the chain of department stores so if you had not done this total you would have had to add this right which is also not very difficult actually but since i've already done this let's do this right we anyways need these two for the first two years all we needed to do was when we calculated this just add this up over there okay so let's try this so uh 224 plus 306 will be 330 530 530 plus 370 will be 900 option two pretty straightforward so this is a question which was pretty calculation intensive it is not difficult but it is not easy as well you need to be a little patient especially after solving the first question the first question can be solved in a reasonably quick amount of time but to solve the second third and fourth question you will need to resolve these two equations uh, a little bit of patience about three to four minutes in between here where you are working out the equations assigning the variables properly once you do this then again the rest of the questions can be solved pretty quickly in an exam situation it will take you about nine to ten minutes to solve this you can use the calculator to help you out moderate level difficulty question that finishes this session on cat 2020 lrdi solution do let us know how you found these particular set of solutions in case you want to look at more such solutions please do subscribe to our youtube channel also follow us on various social media groups the links are available in the description of this video till we meet again the next time goodbye and all the best